Hello everyone, it's Artem here. Uh, in today's video, I want to share some nice workflow for working with Cursor AI for building cool looking landing pages. First of all, yeah, start with some inspiration. Uh, I usually do like a product hunt research to check like what shall of some cool design choices, decisions that kind of uh, looks nice to me. So I found this this site and uh, just some product hunt product from, from yesterday on like the day before yesterday that uh, uh, also looks really good. So um, first of all, what you need to understand, like um, this approach leverage a couple of things. Uh, one of uh, one of which is um, Tailwind CSS. So nowadays, like uh, eighty percent of sites like using Tailwind, like new. I mean, the new size that is created. Tailwind is really popular, and Tailwind is defined. All the styles defined uh, in line in 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 the HTML, and uh, this allows us to copy it, send it to AI, and tell the AI to generate something similar to the thing that we see on the page. So this way we can quickly rebuild the same components, apply our own styling, our own um, changes that we want and use their foundation, change it and have our own designs. So this approach uh, streamline your basically your de uh, design development process, especially if you're building uh, on your own, you're a solo developer. This will help you move much quicker. So let me show you. I like this site. I like this header component. Uh, I like this hero section. We will try to rebuild uh, header and hero. Everything else is just a uh, repeat the process, iterate and improve. You can actually also improve, uh, in, uh, reuse this uh, logic to build the UI components as well, like uh, forms, uh, cards, and other. This the main thing to understand the process. So we start with looking at the HTML. We Actually, we start with the finite side with that use tailwind that we like. We found that element that we want to copy. So right now we see this header. You see, you can hover the same on the Google Chrome on Firefox. Or just copy uh, HTML from here. Then you go back to your application. Here is like an empty Next.js app. We, we have just a hello world inside. And I will give you some tips on the cursor, like a, crash course in a, like one minute about cursor. So just a quick update. I launched this community recently. It's called MetaMakers. Uh, the goal of the community is just to create a place for the people interested in AI, uh, coding, um, launching startups and everything tech related to gather together and exchange experience, have a great time, uh, share some tips and like learn and get better together. Uh, what I plan to do in the community, first of all, I want to schedule a weekly calls where we will be able to uh, join and just have a nice conversation, uh, ask questions, share tips and everything. Also inside the classroom, I want to create a courses that will be available for the members of the community. So instead of just recording a short uh, YouTube video, I will be able to record a, a full uh, featured uh, course, of, let's say for, about the cursor divided into sections so you can fully understand the topic. And inside the community, inside this general tab, I want to have like share exclusive contents, ex share something that I have found, uh, I have learned in a day-to-day -day basis, the same goes for you. So if you are a member of the community and you want to share something, ask something, you will, can do this from here. So I encourage you to join. I will leave a link uh, be, uh, be, um, below the video in the description. Please join. I will like to see you there. Thank you. Bye-bye. In Cursor, we have like different apps. You have chat. This is your like regular chat GPT and Composer where you actually can apply code. So it's going to um, uh, basically share thoughts and then apply the code. So you don't need to do anything, just uh, accept or reject it or modify if you wish. And also here we have the normal and agent mode. Actually, this one, it's a bit confusing to me, but you can hover and read about this. I kind of see them as uh, really similar, but I keep an agent because it's like newer and it seems like work working really nice to me. You can also have this, if you hover and highlight the text, you can press command K. It's open this inline editing. Uh, Actually, you see, you see, it's like the same model. Uh, everything you can also mention. Everything you can uh, do the same, but it's a bit, a bit uh, worse uh, than to compare to the to the agent. So I, I try to keep it. If if it's something important and I want to high quality results, I keep it in the agent mode. Uh, you also really important. You always specify the context that you wish. Um, that you want to add so the AI understand what you want to change and what is the focus of your of your changes. So yeah, th this is it. Um, let me show you. So we just copy the um, HTML from the page that we like, that we want to sh take some ideas from. We go to source folder. We'll create a new components 
inside we'll create a marketing folder and inside the um, the element header uh, JSX and it, I will just paste it here you see the big chunk of, of the HTML now what we are doing is uh, we will open a com new composer it's already added our context which is good but I always like I try to always add it one more time uh, to the actual text why because sometimes because sometimes it's not um, taking my context. I just maybe it's a bug or something. So I will just make sure it's here and it's also in line in text with the add sign. So you can mention files with add. You can file files, folders, all the other stuff. So just make sure you mention it uh, to make sure it's uh, understanding what you want to change. So um, right now I will just uh, tell uh, create a React uh, component based on this code keep the uh, gradient border make it look nice so it's now working you see it it will do everything for us we will just need to accept it so you see it's made some changes we, have, we see the green color it's the changes that that we need to review even with the state for some reason i don't know why we need to state here but we'll see so it's easy we just need to, we can all click here to review or or we can just scroll and see the green color there the changes that that is made and the files if it's if it's multiple files so i will just click accept it and then i will go back to the parent page and uh, here i will just do um right here do the header and just import it from the marketing um let's go here and don't forget to use the use client directive at the top go back so you see you see it's almost identical to what we are trying to achieve even the buttons everything but uh, what i want to do i don't think our gradient border so i will just tell to ai to that they want to use, see the gradient border also. You see, it's trying to check for our parent page, but it's not understanding that I mean, I meant uh, the um, the code. I will just send it one more time. Oh, I see. It's because we need to add this coiny gradient from the from the style. I, I think it will add add this config right now. So good. It's, it's because it's using the variables, but we are not specified the variables. So you see, you see, we have the changes ready let's check yeah it looks pretty similar um we might change it a little bit here but it looks good maybe just a little bit less here but yeah it's not it's not that important right now what what is important to understand like i don't want it to be looks like this because it's basically one-to-one -to, -one to what we've seen on the parent page and i don't want to just copy it blindly copy the same design so what I want to do is I want to introduce our own uh, design library that we will use for projects using ShotCN and then modify the component to use ShotCN. This way, then we can repeat the process the same with the other component. So what I will do is, let me just double check the docs one second. What is the correct way to install it? Okay, it is the same, yes. Um, let's use the New York. Let's use the natural CSS variables. And we basically have our variables here. Yes, we will go um, to header and ask AI to use ShotCN for UI elements or better structure this now modify um, the, uh, the code to use ShotCN for UI elements and globals css for for style styles and colors what we are doing instead so we have the structure ready you see it's a, it's um suggesting terminal commands for us to add a button sheet and separator let's run the command so for some reason it's asking us to install this to install this thing now let's make sure we see we have the error here from the terminal i think this is because the command is not right let me double check the the way to add the components 
Chassis and init components. Okay, you need to add it like like this. So we need npm dlx. So let's see. I just add. Uh, let's do it like this, and then copy everything from here that we have. So it's this command. Okay, now it's adding everything correctly. It's telling some dependencies that we need. Okay, what we got? We see it's already here looking good. Let's just accept it. Okay, we have everything ready. Let's check what we got. Also make sure it's we have the working uh, server running, pnpm dev. So as you see now, what we got, basically we replaced elements with our own um, Satyan uh, UI elements. The same goes for buttons. So it's now our own. And what is now important to understand, so we, we kept them that we uh, 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 kind of like. and uh, But we replaced everything, like all the core pieces of the design, to our own uh, UI uh, smaller pieces. And this way, when we use it with Chatians or other similar libraries, you can always go to your globals then. And let's say for the primary color, for the uh, primary color, you want something else. So for the primary, I make it a uh, nice orange, something like this. And let's say what we got. So you see it like in just one second to change the color and visual styles of like of everything in the app. Also, the same goes for the roundness. Let's say, uh, let me see quickly where our radio. So we have this uh, 0.5 RAM. Let's say we will set it for 0.7 RAM. You see, like we are like one, one cl click basically, and we have all the app field changed to something else. You can change the borders, colors, uh, um, the gray gray colors that you use instead of like uh, what you use a natural or, or a sync, use something else. Just really quickly to add and modify. Uh, right now, what I want to add, I don't like this arrow. Frankly speaking, so I will just go back to the header and we will do hero, hero section together, just to just to make sure you understand how how, how to work in, with this approach. Uh, so right now I will just look for the error and just make it smaller, just so it looks m a little bit better. Um, show on down and just import it directly from the Lucida. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's much better. Okay, yeah, we we done here. As you see, like. Uh, we need for sure to replace the logo, but but it's 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 now it's much much more our own application instead of just copy it straight from the inspiration page. So let's do similar approach with the hero section. I kind of like this um, grid uh, overlay at the bottom. I think it looks nice. I don't really like this hidden. It's a little bit weird for me. It's like a spacing and stuff. But we will work on this together so right now we uh, find it here we find this uh, section that we want to uh, that we want to the copy we just copy the outer uh, html we go here go back and we go uh, create a new component co called a hero tsx a new file inside and basically repeat the process um, now do similar uh, logic to our you see, it's, now we need to specify the context. We need to specify the hero. Make React comp, use Shatsien and our styles from globals. Keep a grid overlay on hero. Just, just so we have this cool thing it's not going to delete it. So yeah, it's just a simple prompt to, to basically repeat the process with this hero section. So now it's going to use the Shatian and create everything needed. Let's see let's see what we've got. So you see it's created um it's created a new component for us. We see some image placeholders from the parent page that we will need to replace. But the components looks nice. I see that we import we use just just use the button. Let me see what we will have on the final render. We'll just import the hero. 
also import it on the main file. Go back to our uh, local host. You see, it's like one to one, so it's, so it's just uh, it's it's used as our natural color at the bottom. Uh, this one I want to replace. Also replace the description and replace the images that we'll do later. And we might not need these logos right now. You can can delete it. Let's just do some changes right now. So we um, first for the for the um, kind of this grayish color that we see. Let me just double check where we got, got this natural. Okay, this looks good to me. Uh, however, yeah, let's just work on this section right now. So we will just go here and we will do, we are building like Twitter bookmark management, manage, Twitter bookmark manage, management app, manage your Twitter. Bookmarks. And I don't think we need this tag here. Let me see. I just go keep it clean in one single line. Uh, manage it with the bookmark with AI. <laughs> and we will just uh, create some nicely looking description as well. So let me just change the copy quickly. And I want to make it a little bit smaller. Take Excel. I think I will leave it just an Excel right here and make it, um, make it smaller. Yeah, this one I kind of like better. So as you see, like uh, we took the initial page as the foundation. From the page, we, we like we took the. Header with nice like gradient with nice gradient overlay. We also took this grid that we like. Some design choices with this circle avatar that we need to use with, uh, to replace with our own clients. Also replace these images for our own. But you see, this way we can quickly streamline the process of uh, of finding design ideas for our own um, applications. Move quickly as a solo developer. Find some stuff that you like. Uh, reuse it, modify it, iterate, and just uh, just create your own stuff based based on existing uh, things that you found on the internet. So I hope this is useful for you. Leave uh, comments, likes, and questions if you have any, uh, and let me know if you want some more tips using the cursor uh, to create uh, some interesting projects and uh, some some cool stuff. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.